Well, first up on the show, the novel coronavirus has so far infected more than 1.9 million people worldwide and resulted in the death of close to 20,000 people. But a safe and effective vaccine for it is still at least a year away. However, researchers are rushing to, well, uh, repurpose existing drugs and non-drug therapies as well as testing promising experimental drugs that were already in clinical trials to treat COVID-19. Let's take a look at some of the important drugs that are being tested. Remdesivir. Uh, this drug was originally made to tackle the RNA virus. As of now, it is considered to be the most promising against COVID-19. Results from the trial are expected in three months. Hydroxychloroquine, this is an anti-malaria drug, also believed to be antiviral. In one small French study, some COVID-19 patients showed improvements, but there was no proof that the drug was the reason. Two other studies done in France and China showed no benefit of the drug in COVID-19 treatment. India and United States are using, however, this drug currently as treatment for COVID-19 in some cases. Dozens of clinical studies are underway around the world. Trial results are expected in three months as well. Now, Acterma, used for treating uh, arthritis and hyperimmune response in cancer patients, 15 registered trials are taking place in China, Europe and the US are testing it on COVID-19 patients al uh, alone or in, com uh, in comparison to other therapies as well. Now, Cave Zara is a monoclonal uh, antibody approved for inflammatory arthritis and the drug is targeting uh, the immune response in severely ill COVID-19 patients. Results here as well are expected in three months. Now, Java Key, uh, which has been developed to treat, again, inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. One trial each in Canada and Mexico will test the drug in COVID-19 patients with severe respiratory symptoms with initial results expected by June 2020. So we're far away from actual, actually using these vaccines uh, on a wide scale. Now, Calitra uh, is again an antiviral combination used to treat and prevent HIV infections. More than 20 trials around the world are underway and initial results here are expected by May 2020. Now, let's take a look at...